Hello, my name is Sans Abdullah and today we're going to be taking a look at one of, if not the most anticipated sneaker to release in 2020, the Nike Air Force One Paranoid. This shoe marks the second collaboration between international superstar, visionary, and artist G-Dragon with the timelessly classic silhouette of the Nike Air Force One. You see, the first time the king of K-pop joined hands with Nike, we received a pair of predominantly black Air Force Ones. But now, in their second collaboration, what we get is this. It's a beautiful shoe box. It's similar to the first release, but Nike really deserves a round of applause for the attention to detail that they put on this sneaker. It's just, even the box is beautiful. It's crazy. Opening up the shoe box is, I'm actually super excited. I've been waiting all year just to see this shoe. <laughs> when you open up the box, you are greeted with this paper that says, Kunyang eh? Which is a translation of just do it in Korean. Peeling the paper aside, we have we have the shoe. Wow. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna pull out both sides. I'm gonna pull out both sides just to make it easier. Wow. <laughs> this is just, this is really amazing. <laughs> I mean, just taking this in, just taking it all in. This is, I think they really outdid themselves. Honestly, even though it's just like the inverse colored version of the black pair, mm -hmm. I think the all-white upper just makes it a lot more, I don't know, a lot more approachable. You see, the Air Force One was first designed by Bruce Kilgore and released in 1982, which makes the Air Force One silhouette almost 40 years old, I think right now, if my maths is correct. It is amazing how throughout nearly 40 years old, the Nike Air Force One still finds a way to put a smile on your face. It's it's like timeless magic. This collaboration with G-Dragon is just another addition to that magical lineage. You see, G-Dragon designed his latest collaboration with the idea of encouraging the youth to focus more on themselves, to find the strength and inner peace, to tackle the difficulties that one might face in life. He calls this ideology utopia. The upper layer of the shoe is designed to peel off rather easily to reveal a hidden utopia of art and colors. So most of the pairs will arrive out of the box cracked. There will be cracking all throughout the upper. Don't panic, that is normal, that is expected, that is what the shoe is supposed to do. The shoe is supposed to crack this way. It's fully intentional, don't be scared. G-Dragon's Peace Minus One branding can be found throughout the entire shoe, most prominently on the tongues of each pair in the form of a black daisy missing one petal. The Peace Minus One branding can also be seen printed on the shoe's inner lining. The Air Force One Paranoise comes with a set of pins that you can screw into the lace holes to add a touch of colour to the sneaker, along with a set of extra white laces allowing for versatility. These extra laces also come with the Peace Minus One Daisy printed onto its aglets. A stark contrast to the red aglets that come with the black laces that is already on the shoe. You could wear it your way or you could lace it from top to bottom the way G-Dragon does. It's your call, that's the beauty of this shoe. It's your call how you want to express yourself. It's all about expression, that's what the shoe is about. It's all about self-expression. It's a beautifully crafted shoe. A lot of people don't know this, but this is actually a sticker. This whole thing is a sticker. You can actually peel it off and like paste it wherever you want. Just some advice when purchasing the shoe, do take note that they run pretty big. I would advise you to go about a half size down, especially if you're gonna lace them the way G-Dragon laces them. Just take note of that when you are looking to purchase a pair. And how exactly do you purchase a pair, may you ask Hans. How do I purchase a pair of these beautiful sneakers? Okay, here's how you do it, baby. These beautiful sneakers will be releasing at Atmos KL by way of raffle. And the raffle, there's two separate raffles. One which is a public raffle and one which is a women's exclusive raffle. For the women's exclusive raffle, Atmos is looking out for y'all. Atmos got your back. Basically, for the women's raffle, it will be open on the 21st of November up to the 23rd of November. The winners will be announced on the 24th of November. And if you win, you have to go and pick up the pair in store at KLCC on the 25th. 
So I'll repeat that, the raffle opens on the 21st all the way to the 23rd. The winners will be announced on the 24th. And then if you win, you have to go and pick up the shoes yourself in person, in store at the KLCC branch of Atmos KL on the 25th. Okay, for the second raffle, the public raffle, this one's a lot more fascinating. Atmos is giving back to the community. Everyone is entitled to a free raffle entry, but if you want to increase your chances, if you want to get more raffle tickets, you can pay RM5 for an additional raffle ticket. And there's no limit to that. You can buy as many as you want. And the proceeds for all of these paid entries, the proceeds for all of the extra entries that you may want to buy, the proceeds for all of it will go to charity. 100% of the money from these raffle tickets will go to charity. It will be donated to the Pit Stop Community Cafe. So you stand a chance to win a shoe and you get to give back to charity. Sounds like a good deal to me. Same deal. Raffle opens on the 21st up to the 23rd. But the winners of the public raffle won't need to go in store to pick it up. The shoes will be shipped out to you. And there we go, there we have it. That is an unboxing of the Nike G-Dragon Paranoise 2020, the white colored pair. It is amazing, I love it so much. My hands are shaking when I'm holding them. I can't believe that they are finally here. I can't believe they're finally released. This is a dream come true in the form of a shoe. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. My name is Hans Abdullah, and this has been a review slash unboxing. Peace out.